Hello and welcome to Afghan Voice Agency in April 18th. European Union envoy to Afghanistan Andreas van Brandt urged the Taliban to take the upcoming UN-led conference on Afghanistan seriously as the Afghan conflict can only be resolved through peace talks. The envoy urged the Taliban to stop the war and seize the opportunity to end the war in Afghanistan by taking a serious part in the upcoming peace summit in Istanbul. The European Union supports peace and inter-Afghan dialogue in Afghanistan, so the Taliban must reduce the level of violence, the envoy said in an interview. The Istanbul Conference for a Political Solution to Afghan Peace will be held in Istanbul, Turkey on the 24th of this month, but the Taliban have said that they will not participate in any peace conference until the United States agreed by the Doha Agreement and withdraw its troops from Afghanistan. Former President Hamid Karzai's Chief of Staff Abdul Karim Koram in a television debate has claimed that President Ashraf Ghani had agreed with the U.S. to release the remaining 70,000 Taliban prisoners, but the President Ghani office rejected as false. Dawa Khan Minipal, head of the government, media and information center, said Koram's claim regarding President Ghani's agreement to free 7,000 Taliban prisoners is in a Neither the U.S. made such a demand nor Afghan government has made any decision in this regard, he said. A top U.S. senator says the pullout of the remaining American troops from Afghanistan is a complicated decision. McConnell said there is no denying that withdrawing from Afghanistan is a complicated decision. At the minimum, the U.S. will not leave behind a stable regime. In a statement on Saturday, the Republican lawmaker warned of a real chance of increased extremist activities in a wake of the U.S. pullout. Eight members of a family were shot dead, two others were injured in Jalalabad, said local officials in Nangahar province. The incident took place at 9 p.m. on a Saturday in Jalalabad city, Nangahar Governor Ziaul Haq Amar Kheib said. Amar Kheir also mentioned that members of the family had been shot while performing Tawari prayers. According to him, preliminary information shows that the incident took place in the house of a person named Haj Abdul Wahab, as a result of which five of his sons and three nephews were killed. War has killed 241,000 people in Afghanistan and Pakistan over the past two decades, according to estimates in new report released by Coast of War project at Brown University's Watson Institute. Up to 174,000 people were killed in Afghanistan while 67,000 others died in Pakistan, according to the report. The figure for both the countries include at least 71,344 civilians, 2,442 American service members and 78,314 Afghan military and police and 84,191 opposition fighters, the report said. It includes also 136 journalists and media workers as well as 549 humanitarian aid workers. Iran's army held a special ceremony on Sunday to mark National Army Day, observing a corona pandemic restrictions and excluding the parade to the armor vehicles. The motorcade parade was reviewed by Iran's army commander, Major General Abdurrahim Musavi, in the third region of Army's ground force. Thank you so much for being with us and until next time.